rhinitis is an inflammation of the nasal cavity and it is commonly also associated with the inflammation of the paranasal sinuses, so-called sinusitis. Clinically, we can differentiate the acute rhinitis when the symptoms uh, last less than six weeks and chronic rhinitis with the symptoms lasting more than six weeks. The inflammation can be allergic or atopic or it could be associated with viral infection. In some cases we can see the development of uh, a secondary bacterial infection. Long-term chronic rhinosinusitis can cause nasal polyp development. And in this picture we have particles of nasal mucosa which has polypoid features and it is associated with prominent stromal edema and uh, dense uh, inflammatory chronic infiltration. On the higher magnification we can see that the mucosa is lined by pseudostratified epithelium of respiratory type which consists of basal cells, ciliated cells and goblet cells. It looks like stratified columnar epithelium However, all the cells are connected to the basement membrane, so we call this epithelium pseudostratified respiratory type of epithelium. Chronic inflammation is commonly associated with goblet cells, hyperplasia. Those are these mucin-producing cells with large mucin vacuole in the cytoplasm. Inside of the cytoplasm, we can see small, uh, clear mucin droplets. The inflammation is commonly associated with a thickening of the basement membrane, which can be seen here. And the stroma is edematous, and uh, we see many chronic inflammatory cells. Here we have lymphocytes, plasma cells, but most commonly we see usually a lot of eosinophils. Those are these cells with eosinophilic granules inside of the cytoplasm. Sometimes we can see papillary transformation of the mucosa, as in this place for example so here we have the papillary structure with the fibrovascular septum also quite prominent goblet cell hyperplasia can be seen in this um, in this mucosa in this part of the slide we can see the mucus glands and also quite prominent thickening of the basement membrane nasal polyps uh, have a very similar microscopic appearance they are usually larger and they have prominent mucus a glands, hyperplasia, and also more prominent edema of the stroma. Thanks for watching.